hello everybody and welcome today is our travel day we are traveling down to Universal Orlando Resort and we are staying a few nights this is a little mini vacation that we are having before we have a really big vacation coming up in September so and it was kind of like a short notice but it's a big thing and that's going to be lots and lots of money so anyway but we're taking a small little mini vacay at Universal Orlando Resort we have not been since Christmas time we will be staying at the Endless Summer Resorts Dockside Inn and Suites and I will be doing a room tour and a hotel tour because I know there are not a lot um, out there on YouTube and there's a lot of people that uh, ask questions about that like in Facebook groups that I'm in for Universal and different ones for Disney but a lot of people do ask in Universal like a comparison or you know just what to expect and would they recommend it so anyway yes I will be doing a hotel tour so look forward to that we just did our usual stop we've been to the Duncan we need our caffeine and we um, got our we always stop at the busy bee which is kind of like if you are familiar with Bucky's which is you know something that's kind of like midwest well southwest I would say it's more but they've recently come to Florida and Georgia and I know they're in the process of building one in Tennessee but anyway we have something where we live called the busy bee and it's kind of like a little scaled down scaled down version of Bucky's but anyway that's where we always stop whenever we um, are traveling so and that's where our Dunkin Donuts is so we stopped and filled up and we got the pride month sprinkled with love donuts mm, they're cake donuts with rainbow sprinkles I, I cannot wait to enjoy it so yep we're just hanging out in the car, just riding and chilling. And you know. Truck. No, oh, the truck. The new truck. Big Daddy's new truck. This is our first vacation in Big Daddy's new truck. So, anyway, I'm interested to see how this is going to ride. You never know. We are almost there. We are currently stopped at a service plaza off of the Turnpike. We live approximately two, two and a half hours away from Orlando. So we always usually, obviously, travel by car. And whenever we get on the Turnpike, we usually stop at the service plaza. The first one, I think the name of it's Okahunka. I'm not, I know that's the name of it. I'm just not sure that's how you pronounce it. But anyway, so we're back in the car. We went to the bathroom room and right now it's the week before the 4th of July so it's obviously the last week of June and it is travel crazy the service plaza is crazy in there the bathrooms have lines the restaurants have lines a little store the gas station store that's connected to it has a line and we came got back in the car big daddy's in there he is buying a transponder for the sun pass because we have a sun pass but when he got his new vehicle and he cleaned his old one out he forgot to put it in here so it's at the house so anyway we're getting a transponder and if you don't know what the sun pass is if you come to florida or to orlando and get on the turnpike you know once or twice a year whatever it would pro it'd be very convenient for you to invest in a sun pass but i can you know give you information on that at a later date but anyway so that's what we're doing we're currently waiting on big daddy and he was standing in the line all right so we've come to the end of our travel day we are in our hotel we've been here a few hours we had a long check-in traffic was really bad coming but i mean that's to be expected it's orlando it's summertime so so, uh, you know lots of people are coming down here um, check-in was really long it took quite a while the line was on but they did move people pretty fast so we are in our room we're getting up early in the morning so we're just kind of having a lazy early night I've already shed the makeup took the contacts out brush out my hair and I'm just ready to relax so anyway that's what we're doing so is all the crew. They doing all the crazy stuff. 
Good morning. We're up early. We're heading to the parks for early admission. If you're staying at a Universal Resort, you get an hour early in the parks. Uh, and they open for Harry Potter, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. There's something else happening before I can't remember. But anyway, so we're heading there so we can be first on Velocicoaster. All right, we've made it to City Walk. We are funneling into Islands of Adventure. We are heading on our way to Velocicoaster. Today we feel the need for speed, hence why I have my hair in a ponytail. It's 8.30 in the morning. It is Monday, June 28th. Abigail, the 28th. And honey, it is busy already at 8.30 in the morning, so just FYI. So you know, because there was people complaining all around at how busy it was. But yes, yeah, so my recommendation, get here early. Velocicoaster, the current wait time at 8.55 in the morning is 60 minutes. I don't know that that's exactly how long we'll wait, but we are getting in it. Line, like I said, 8.55, so we will let you know if that's how long, you know, the actual wait time is. Right here, go right here. We're in the lockers, we're in the lockers! Woo! Okay, so we just got off the of coaster. It was about an hour, but the ride was down for approximately 20 to 30 minutes. There are just no words to describe. This roller coaster ain't no joke. If you've never been on a roller coaster, I mean, I don't suggest starting with this one. But you know, I'm a seasoned professional, so that there that is. But it is serious, okay? So let me just tell you, for all you big busted women out there, when you come over that tall hill right there, if your boobs ain't in your bra good, honey, they are gonna come out. Okay, so my assessment of the ride is, it is worth the wait. Whether you have to wait an hour, two hours, all day, if you are a thrill junkie, a roller coaster junkie, I highly, 110 out of 10 do recommend you ride the ride. Velocicoaster is where it's at. Universal has the number one roller coaster, and I'm gonna say this in all the world. All right, so we are currently headed to um, Hogwarts Express because we are heading over to Universal Studios. We just had lunch at Three Broomsticks. We've eaten there before, so there wasn't any reason in vlogging it. But anyway, so however, yes, it's very busy. We just come out of Hogsmeade. We went back by Velocicoaster so that peanut and big daddy can see because they didn't come with us this morning so anyway here we are we're getting on the train
this one. It's occupied, Harry. That looks like a bunch of fish. Let's keep looking. This way or on this way? Hey, there's still water, kids. Will you pass? very long because it was just crazy in there which I had a feeling because Diagon Alley is kind of tight quarters anyway and of course there was tons of people in there so we're out now I think we're going over to Men in Black maybe to ride the ride I know the kids want to go in the store I don't know we might even do Simpsons today I haven't been on any simulator rides so I should be good for one one is the quota all right so Big Daddy's super impressed because we have Dom Toretto's car from the new Fast and Furious movie that's coming out minus the engine but yes it is in there and he has driven this car actually yes please I'll have some all right so we are in the little kids section of the park and we are heading over to the new DreamWorks destination dance party we're gonna go check that out and see what it's all about you know me if it's a dance and it's party I'm down We're back here in the DreamWorks destination on the way to the dance party and they have all kind of step and repeats or well advertisements for Spirit Untamed and then over here is the step and repeat for the new Boss Baby family business movie. And there it is. How fun is that to do a step and repeat here? Oh my god. And they have awesome benches in here for you to sit on. Honey, I may have wanted to thank this 4K camera because it shows all the wrinkles. I'm so sorry. What? We were practicing a stock show routine. I know we're going to take the show on the road. We're going to talk about how it's going. I know. Tigress and Tiffany at a city near you. DreamWorks destination and that is so cute if you have little ones it is really cute and honey them people are in there and they are working hard for their money I was like yes because they are just continuously dancing taking pictures singing talking so I it's a must-do especially for little kids 
Like I said, it's air conditioned and the parents have seats. It's really good. Thumbs up. It's so nice that things are kind of getting back to normal. You know they're getting back to normal when the performers are out. They were out dancing. We had the Secret Life of Pets little parade floats out dancing. So it was just so cute. All right, right across from the prop shop is the Five and Dime, and they have a 2021 preview merchandise for Halloween Horror Nights in here. So let's go check it out. Okay, we have different magnets. The magnets are $15. We have shirts for all the classics. Obviously, we are coming back with the classics. These shirts are, oh. I, th I do believe that Psycho was one of my very first scary movies, horror films that I saw. We got shirts and hoodies, beanies. Oh, everybody needs the Bates Motel. <gasps> we need the Bates Motel merch. Let's see how much this one is. I don't know, it's got a tag on it right here. Oh, what does that say? $59.95. You say psycho like it's a bad thing. Yep, that's me, psycho. My very first scary movie. Oh, they just have all kinds of things in here. We have wallets, we have pictures, all kinds of shirts, the classic monsters, Phantom of the Opera. They have figurines for different things. Let's see what we got. We got some things that are signed over here. They have a mask in here, but I don't see anything that is for high, that is for um, Halloween Horror Nights. Okay, so we just came out of the Tribute store and we got two little snacks. We got the vegan chocolate brownie and the Velocicoaster Whoopie Pie. I think it was called Jurassic Park. I can't remember now what the name of it was. I'll have to look back on the footage. But yeah, we're fixing to try those, yeah. All right, 
So we are finished. Sorry I didn't vlog us eating those treats. They were really good. I would highly recommend the whoopie pie or the vegan brownie. If you're not sure about what's in there, you can never go wrong with the vegan brownie. So anyway, we are fixing to end our day. We're going back to the resort. We have reservations tonight for cowfish. So we are gonna go get ready for dinner tonight at cowfish at city walk i didn't say it city walk so anyway we've had a really fun day and of course the highlight of the day of the year was to ride velocicoaster so oh there's hashtag the panda i'll show you in a second but anyway thank you so much for watching and if you like these videos please hit the like button subscribe ring the notification bell so you always know when we are online and we upload a video and you don't miss out so we will see you next time if the good lord's willing and the creek don't rise